All right, my friend, let's create another playground. This one, I will name it if else statement like this. So here, what is an if else statement? A lot of time or most of the time in your program, it will not happen linearly, meaning that it will not just like execute line number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. It will have to have operation have have logic into the program because if something is true then we'll do something if something is wrong we'll do something else that is if else statement it gives the program some control state or we call it control flow we control the flow of the program into different branches if you would like to say that way so yeah in order to first we use um, if else statements we need to learn about boolean values and also boolean expression so let's say we have true here right that the value is true and how can we use this true and false statements into like logical operation so i will have a let cost equals three thousand and then we have another let revenue is twenty five thousand i'm sorry twenty five hundred and then from here we have the profit is going to be the revenue minus the cost the simplest form right now what is the let thing here well this let i didn't intend to introduce you to this but what it is is it is a constant now why is a constant well a constant is like a variable it stores some value but its value cannot be changed so here if i change the cost into 2400 like this and we are going to have an error and it says cannot assign value let value uh, the very value cost is a let constant so it means that it has to be one single value you cannot change the value of the let constant once you initialize it it's that simple now you may ask why do we want to use a let constant well because a lot of time many times in your program number one it is for efficiency because creating a let constant it is safer and also less operations in the computer to execute number two is that it is safer because if you have something like um let's say um the number of players in a game you want to fix that number you don't want to have another player or someone change that thing then you make it a let constant okay as we move on we build apps we talk about more pro about swift programming you'll see why we want to use it now back to our if else statements and logical expression here i want to make sure that if the profit if it is less than zero then it is losing money we are losing money right if the profit is greater than zero then we're making some money right so here when i typing in line number 12 we have profit less than zero it will calculate into true because the profit now is negative 500 so negative 500 less than zero is it true or false yeah this is true next negative 500 is, is it greater than zero no so it is false and then we can use this expression right here the statement right here into our if else statement and here's the syntax we can have if the profit is less than zero then they use the two curly braces like this and pay attention to the convention or the syntax that i'm using and also the way that i write the code so that it is very easy to read and write and understand okay a lot of people use um write something like this or a lot of people just like this and it's it's kind of hard to to read so pay attention to those kind of thing is very very uh, beneficial for you in the future so here if the profit is less than zero i want to print something to the console and here's another statement i want to introduce you the print statement this thing is used a lot to debug your program so we have print you are losing money like this right losing money and below here inside our debug you find out that it print out you are losing money because profit is negative 500 less than zero true then it will execute whatever the code inside this yes you can print out 
a emoji something like this so print and to use emoji palette you can hold the control command space right and then let's go up here we have something like uh, like this okay the scary face and we have that we're losing money scary face and you have you can have a lot of statements over here like this okay it will execute whatever the code inside here now what if we have profit greater than or equals to zero then we have the else statement and then we print something like you are making money and then i will print another one for the emoji um i believe there's some here money right <laughs> There we go. So we print this thing. And now you may ask, why is it do we need this else block? Because a lot of time you want to have that thing, right? If this thing is true, then you execute whatever it is. If this thing is false, then you do something else. Then if I change this card, uh, the re revenue into like $25,000, then profit will be 22000 And then profit 22000 less than zero is false right phones right here then it will ignore the code inside here it will jump into this else block execute whatever the code inside here that's why you see you are making money and then the, uh, the stupid face right there right okay so let's have another example for this and to use this example let's go back and review our array so let's have a grocery list of array equals to broccoli like this I, I don't know if I spelled right and we have noodles we have beef and let's say we have chicken like that right and then when you go have this list out your mom tell you that hey I want you to buy some chicken so let's new item equals to chicken like this okay now here we go you ask why do we want to use var here and let here well the let's here because we know that we are going not going to change the value of the new item it will always be chicken or whatever the value that we give it but the grocery list we want to append or delete elements from those right so it has to be a variable so if it is a let here we cannot append elements inside this right so here we have to use var so now I want to make sure that before I buy this thing, before I buy the chicken that mom tell me to do, then I want to make sure that the grocery list, grocery list, does it contains the new item, right? So here we go. We use another syntax called dot contains the array dot contains something. So here it says true, huh? It means that this grocery list already contains an element has the exact value as this new element which is chicken right now okay and then we can use if the grocery list does it contains the new item if it contains a new item we are going to print you already added oops added the item to your list right otherwise else then we'll use grocery list dot append the new item like this and then I will print out item added and then we'll print out new I'm sorry grocery list like that okay so we check if this array already contained the new element then we will not contain that we will not append that we will just report that you already added but if it doesn't cont uh, contain that we will append that element just inside the array we print that out report back what is the list right now right so here it says chicken we already added that item to the list now one one last thing I want to tell you about is the way that Swift or any other programming languages compare string. So yeah, the reason why this thing is true because it does contain the chicken, right? Now, if I change this chicken instead instead of this, we have chicken with the capital C. 
look what happened this thing contains a new item it's funks even though we read it as chicken right and then it append item added and we have all of these things the reason for that is the computer or swift compare string by character by character and it would not have the uppercase is different from the lowercase okay i hope that it makes sense here so if i change it back into chicken like this it will be true it does contain if i change it into beef okay and it's false even though we have beef here because I have uppercase so if i change to uppercase beef then here we go we add the element inside to the array all right time for a code change now i hope that you enjoy this session so far we talk about if else statement logical expression boolean value boolean expression how to use if else how to use array append how to use array contains all of those things in just this session i hope that you enjoy this i hope that you will do the code change and then come back with me in just a few minutes i would say that give this code change five minutes 10 minutes max okay come back with me we do the code challenge together and then we rock and roll to the next session here we go let's do it did you do it did you do the code challenge i hope that you do so here we go we have an array of movies that someone watch right we have the last man on the moon avengers captain america and spider-man and let's say we are netflix and we based on the history of someone who watches our movie we recommend new movies for that right? so if someone likes the avengers then very much likely they like iron man if someone likes spider-man very much they like uh, like the hook or something right so here we have a suggestion list and let's say that thing is an array of string too and now in order to give it an initial values of an empty array because right now we don't know if the array has some values or not right so we give it an empty array of string and the way we use it is this syntax okay so now here we want to check if someone likes the last man on the moon or not so if movies list dot contains our the last main on the moon right pay attention to our um the uppercase stuff then we use suggestion list dot append if someone like this thing then very much likely they like the martian because it's about space right it's about space exploration and then else if okay i didn't introduce you to this in the demo so here we go else if it means that else if something else happened so above here we have the else right else if this thing happens then do this else do this immediately but now we will have multiple different conditions so if this thing happens do this else if this thing happens do this else do this thing okay so that's what happened so here else if the movies list contains our spider-man then we are going to suggestion list dot append say iron man right and then else if the movies list dot append like a game of thrones right then how about with suggestion list we append um sherlock holmes, sherlock holmes. like this and here we go that's how you use if our statement and oops i'm sorry this thing is contains movies list that contains that's how you use if our statement and if else if statement and yes above here you can have another else statement and you do something with that okay so it's the same syntax just expand that if else statement that is day number two of our seven days code challenge we just talk about array we talk about if else statement and a lot more in swift i hope that you enjoy this lesson as much as i enjoy teaching it so uh another question that some of you asked me that what if 
I want even more advanced training because you know in seven days I can only teach you as much I can only share with you as much to code and script this is just the beginning to build some momentum to build some programming experience to you so some people ask me what if I want to build real world apps well I have a more advanced training program for you it's called Total RS Blueprint. This is the world's most advanced and the world's most comprehensive training program for iOS developer. So if you would love to join me or just have a look inside the program to see if the program will fit you, click the link on this page. There, there will be a link for you to register for the program. We are having a huge, huge discount for you as a new subscriber. So please check it out. And if it fits you, if the program, you see that you love the program, join us and we would love to serve you at a different level, at an even more advanced level than this. So I hope that you join me in the program in Total Eyes Blueprints. Until then, go out there every single day of your life. i see you tomorrow right here in our day number three. We talk about a very, 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 very cool concept. And until then, go out there, learn new things, craft your ideas and contribute to the world.